Hi guys, I'm Brian from websitelearners.com. Today we're going to see how you can make your own website for free. So after watching this video, you will have your own website like this. And this website can be accessed by anyone over the internet. And in this video, we're also going to see how you can design your website just like this by using drag and drop. So make sure you watch this video till the end to learn how to do it. So let's get started. We are going to create our website in just two parts. The first part is to launch your website. Once you launch your website, your website will be live on the internet. So to launch your website, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to create an account in ProFreeHost. This is the website which is going to help us create our website for free. So to create the account, let's go to profreehost.com and click register now. Now fill up these details. And then click here. So now we have successfully created our account. Once you create the account, we can go to step 2, which is to get your free domain. A domain is the name of your website. This is the name which you type here to go to your website. For example, if you type youtube.com, it takes you to YouTube. The same way, you can get your own domain name. So to get your own domain name, let's click create new. And enter the name you want for your website. I am going to enter Techie Leaf. And as you can see, we have got our domain here. This is the address which your visitors need to enter in order to reach your site. Now, if you want to change this part of the domain, just click here and select the name which you want. Now, to get this domain, click this button. Now, as you can see, we have got our free domain. Once you've got your domain, we can go to step 3, which is to install WordPress on your domain. WordPress is the platform which we are going to use to create our website. And it lets you build your website easily without any coding or programming. So once you install WordPress, your website will be live on the internet. So to install WordPress, just click Manage. and then click control panel. Now to install WordPress, just scroll down and then under softwares, select apps installer and it will take you to this page. So to install WordPress, go here and then click install and it will take you to this page. Now scroll down and here you need to enter a username and password for WordPress. Now this will be used to log in to your website. Once you enter these details, click install. And as you can see, WordPress is successfully installed. And here you can see that we have got the link to our website. So this means our website is now live on the internet. So to check it, let's click this link. And as you can see, we have a brand new website on the name which we selected. So now we have successfully launched our website. Once you launch your website, we can go to the next part of this tutorial, which is to start building your website. So this is how the default site looks like. So to build your website, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to log into your website. So to log into your site, all you have to do is type slash WP admin after your site's address. And now if you press enter, it will take you to the login page of your website. 
Now, enter the login details which you created for your WordPress website. And click login. Now we have successfully logged in to our WordPress site. And this is the WordPress dashboard. Now this is the place from where you can control your website. So once you're logged in, we can go to step two, which is to choose a design for your website. Now instead of building your website from scratch, you are going to choose a design and then edit it to make your own website. So to choose your website design, you need to install a theme called Astra in WordPress. So to install the theme, let's go to Appearance and click Themes. Now click Add New Theme and search for a theme called Astra. Now this is the theme which is going to let us choose the website designs. So to install the theme, just click Install and then click Activate. So now we have installed the theme. Now to choose your design, click Get Started and it will take you to this page. Now select Elementor here which will make it easy for you to edit your website. So let's select that. And here you will find different kinds of website designs which you can apply to your site. So just have a look at these designs and choose the one you like. I'm going to choose this one. And here you can see a preview of how your site will look like. Now to apply this design to your site, just click Import Complete Site and then click Import. And the entire design will now be imported to your site. So let's see how our site looks like. Now if you go to this tab, you can see that this is how our site was before. Now if we click Refresh, you can see that we have now got the entire design into our site. And you can also see your website's pages which has the sample content in it. So now we have successfully got the design into our site. Once you get the design, now how do you change the content of these pages? So let's go to step 3 of building your website which is to edit the content of your website. So to edit any page of your site, you just have to go into that page and click Edit with Elementor. So let's say you want to edit the home page. You just simply click Home. And then click Edit with Elementor. And now you will go into this editing section. Now let's say you want to change this text. All you have to do is just select the text and enter your own text. So I'm going to type Hi, welcome to my website. Next, if you want to change the text on this button, just select it and then enter your own text. So in the same way, you can edit any text you want on this page. Just select the text and then start typing. So this works throughout the site. Next, let's say you want to change this image. To change the image, all you have to do is just click on the image and now click here. And then drag and drop your image from the computer. And as you can see, the image has been changed. Now once you're done with all the changes, just click Update and now if you go to your site and click Refresh, you can see all the changes are here. So this is how you can edit any page of your website. So now we know how you can edit any page on your website. Next, we are going to see how you can change 
the header area of your website. Now by using Elementor, you will be able to change this part of your website. But if you want to change this area, which is the header, you can do it by going into the Customize option. So let's go to Customize. And here, you can see that there are some blue icons. Now if you want to change this logo, just click the blue icon next to it. And you can change the logo here. Now the same way, you can change the menu section by clicking this icon. Once you are done with the changes, click Publish. And the changes will be made on your website. So now, let's close this and go back to our site. So we saw how you can change the header area of your website. Now what if you want to add a new page to your website? It is very easy. So next, we are going to see how you can add a new page to your website. So to add a new page, just go to New and click Page. Now let's say you want to create a service page for your website. You need to first enter a title. And now to start creating a page, just click Edit with Elementor. And now it will take you to this blank section. And now you have two options to create your page. First, you can either choose these elements which are over here and then drag and drop them into this area. So for example, if you want to add a heading, you can drag and drop this element here and then enter your text. And to add an image, you can drag and drop this element. So drag and drop here and start creating your page. Now, the other way to create a page is by using templates. Now, templates are ready-made pages which you can import into your site. So to create a page with templates, let's click here. And you will find a lot of designs here. Now, if you want to use any design, simply click it and see how it looks like. If you like it, just click Insert. And as you can see, we have now got the entire design into our page. Now again like we did before, you can change anything on this page, just by selecting it and typing anything you want. So this is how it works. Once you are done with the changes, click Publish. And you can view the page by clicking here. Now as you can see, we have a new service page here. So this is how you can add a new page to your website. So now we have successfully created our website for free. And now, anyone can access your site by going to this address. Now once you have made your website, here you can see that this is the domain name which we got for free. And this domain has this extra text after the site name which we selected. Now instead of this, what if you want to have a domain name like techyleaf.com? So if you want to get a domain name like this, you can get it by purchasing a .com domain. So next, let's see how you can get a .com domain name. So to get a domain name with .com, all you have to do is, just go to the video which you are watching right now, and then click this link. And it will take you to godaddy.com. Now enter the name which you want for your website here. And then click search. And as you can see, this name is available. So to get this domain name, let's click continue to cart. And again click continue. Now in order to get this domain, GoDaddy will ask you to create an account here. So just enter your details here.
and click create account. Now as you can see, we are getting this domain for one year. Which means, once you make the payment, you will be able to use this domain for one year. Now to get the domain, let's enter our card details here. And click complete purchase. So now, we have successfully got our domain. Now if you click here, and go to my products, you can see that we have got our domain. So once you get the domain, now if we open a new tab, and enter the new domain which we purchased, you can see that it is empty. So now, how do we move the website we built, to this domain. It's very easy. Next, let's see how you can move your site to your .com domain. So to do that, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to add a domain to Profreehost. So to add your domain, let's go to profreehost.com. Now just scroll down and then under domains, select park domain. Now you will get this page. And here, enter the domain which you just purchased. Once you've entered the domain, we can go to step 2, which is to add these details to GoDaddy. Now to move your website to your new domain, you need to add these two details in GoDaddy. So to add these details, let's go to GoDaddy, and click DNS. Now scroll down and click change. And then click here. So now we need to copy these two details and paste it here. First, let's copy this one and paste it here. Next, copy this. and then paste it here. Now click save. Now we've successfully added our details. Now once you've added these details, just go here, and then click add park domain. As soon as you click this button, your new domain will be added to Profreehost. So once you've added your domain, we can go to the final step which is to add your domain name to WordPress. Now in order to move your website to your new domain, you need to add your domain to WordPress. So to add your domain, just copy this domain name, and then go to your WordPress dashboard. Now go to settings, and then click general. Here you can see the free domain which you selected in the beginning. Now to add your domain name, just click this URL and then paste your new domain name here. Next, select this one and paste your domain here. Once you've added your domain, just scroll down and click Save Changes. As soon as you click save changes, your website will be moved to your new domain. So let's check it. Now if we go to this tab, which has a new domain, and click refresh, you can see that we have now got the website which we built. So this is how you can get a .com domain for your website. So that's it guys, this is how you can make your own website. Now if you're ready to start making your own website, just click the link below this video to start making your site. Now when using free hosting, if you use the website above the limit, you'll get a message like this. Now if you want to avoid this message and always keep your website online, you can watch this video to create a more stable website. Next. 
If you want to create an e-commerce website, you can watch this video. Make sure you subscribe to Website Learners to get more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.